Today we're looking at PASCO's air track system and how that works with the smart timer photo gate system. Uh, the air track comes with the two meter track along with these carts and an accessory kit you see here. Um, and the photo gate system comes with these picket fences. Um, and uh, it comes with two picket fences. I've actually taped the two onto the carts. Uh, the picket fences are the best way to use the different modes in here to get the most accurate values. Um, and uh, from the instruction guide with, from the Smart Timer that you can get from Pasco's website, I printed this page and it's just a quick summary that shows the different modes and how they work. Um, so let's run through a few of these examples. Um, so we have uh, three buttons here. Uh, the select measurement allows us to go between uh, for measuring time, speed, acceleration, for counting, or test mode. Uh, sorry, the mode button here allows us to jump between each one of these to so we can determine how we're measuring time, how we're measuring speed, or how we're measuring acceleration. And then, of course, the start-stop button. Um, so I have the two photo gates plugged in here, as well as power. Uh, and there's a little on-off switch on the side. So I'm going to run through a couple of the modes just to show you how they work. Um, the first mode, I'm going to select the time measurement in the one gate mode. What that's going to do is it's going to use this photo gate to determine how long it takes to go from the start of one to the start of the next. So I'll turn on my air supply here. All right, I'll press the start button. And I'll just push this through. It took 0 0.0318 seconds. And the distance between those two flags is one centimeter. So we can do one centimeter divided by this to give us our speed. Now, if we want to get the speed directly, I can change the measurement to speed, change the mode to one gate. And I'll reset the cart here. I hit the start button and here we get 44.8 centimeters per second. Uh, the units are written here. Um, I can also get the acceleration. And in order to do acceleration, I'll need to have, I'll be using both photo gates. It's gonna get the velocity here, the velocity here, and it keeps track of the time between the two gates so to get the acceleration. So I'll change the measurement mode to acceleration with two gates. There we go. Uh, and I press the start stop button and we have a negative 8.4 centimeter per second squared acceleration. And uh, which is a good indication because it is slowing down after I pushed it. Um, another method, if we want to get the velocity at two different points, I can change the Let's go back to speed measurement and I want to select the collision mode. So with this, I can press start, give the cart a little push, and here I press stop. Oh, let's try that one more time. There we go. Uh, so you see the speed between, the first speed recorded at the first gate is 36.3. And if I press the mode button again, I get 34.9 at the second gate. So using that, I can also calculate acceleration. I can help me with that. Um, let's show you one other mode that we can use. Um, I'm gonna take off one of these picket sensors here. And we're going to use the flag that comes with the accessory kit. All right. So in order, let's make sure that it still passes through, which it does. All right. So I'm going to go use our stopwatch mode that is with time. So let's measurement, change it to time. Mode is stopwatch. 
What that's going to do is it's going to calculate the time it takes to go from here to here. And using that time, we can uh, measure this, the width of this, and get our velocity. So if I press start. Oh, and uh, one thing to note, it actually only, you need to have only one item plugged into here, otherwise it gives you the wrong value. And that is written in our, instru in our instruction guide. So I'll press start again. So it took about 0.0456 seconds for it to travel this distance. We can get the speed with that. Um, the other thing, I can also figure out the time it takes to travel between two gates. Um, so let's plug that second photo gate back in. And I'll change the mode to time for two gates. I press start. And once I push the cart. So it took 1.4294 seconds to go uh, from 60 to 110 millimeters. So to go about 50 centimeters. Or sorry, centimeters. Um, so, yeah, we can use those to get the speed as well. Um, another thing, actually, let me jump back. Let's go back to this cart. Using these three flags here, I can get the acceleration of this one cart. So in order to do that, I need to lower the photo gate just a little bit. So we're looking at the... Look about the height. There we go. See that? I don't want it sitting on it, I just want it just high enough. There you go. So that way it's going to pick up the reading from the three photo gates. So let's make sure it slides fast. There it does. All right. So I'm going to change our mode to, or sorry, our measurement to acceleration. Change the mode to one gate. Press start. Let's push this through. We have about negative one uh, centimeter per second was our acceleration. And uh, yeah, so that was just a quick way to show how the different modes work on uh, Smart Timer. Um, now you can use this to do collisions. Um, you can get, you know, the different speeds. So you can use that to calculate different, um, use different equations with that. And uh, again, this is just a summary of that you can, that's with the instruction guide for the smart timers. You can print just these two pages out from our PDF that's on Pascal's website to uh, assist you with the different modes. Now, one thing I didn't mention is there's a, you can also do linear pulley, angular pulley, and uh, you can get the ratings per second measurement as well. Um, in order to do that, you have to take one of these photo gates and align it so that it doesn't fall, of course, with the height of the pulley. So you have, you're checking to see right here, so that when the black thing, when the black tooth passes through the gate, it's closing. And uh, what we can do that is we can, using the pulley provided with our kit here, um, this is a 10 tooth pulley, so we're going to this, we can use that to calculate how many, what our radians per second is and the revolutions per second is as well. So that's another way that we can use um, to do Newton's Law, uh, some different experiments. Anyways, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to email us or let us know. And hopefully it's everything you need. Thank you.